Hi right, everyone, welcome back to Silent Hunter 5. Here we are with U77 and we've got that convoy coming out of Port of Spain. Welcome back to this weekly this week's weekly patrol. Thumbs up as always if you want to see some more and I'll bring you some more as soon as possible. There they are. Now, what we've got a bit of a problem. So, we're just going to ooh, we're going to miss the ladder completely. Uh, we're just going to come down here and go to periscope depth all of a sudden. Let's go boop. We'll slow down as well. So, we're coming up here. We have to reposition. So, you see, they came out of port. Um, and, of course, I was waiting for this reserve to be brought inside. And, typical, it took us all the way here. And then they turned. So, I was like, oh, crap. So, you can see why I was plotting them all the way along there. They did about, they did about 150 meters a minute, which equals to about five knots. They've now turned north, and they've all gone higgledy-piggledy. So what we're going to do is, um, coming here, um, actually let's stay, surface, surface the, boat. the boat, let's stay um, on the surface for now because their visibility is so poor, um, we should be able to get ahead of them and um, sink and submerge in the middle. They, they've they lost their beautiful straight lines of um, organisation, uh, so it may be a bit haphazard, but if we can somehow get in the middle of that without being struck by one of the ships we should be in a good position to um, have a couple of shots so we've got four forward firing torpedoes and one in the aft with <coughs> excuse me one reserve fore and aft so good yes. right let's get into position and see if we can um, cause some mayhem Okay then, here we go then. We're in position, more or less. Let's have a look, bring up the map. There we go. And let's have a look at what's coming our way. Right, as the periscope breaks the surface, we've got a large ship here. With a deck gun on as well. That's a large merchant. Oh, God, come on. Um, it's a large steamer, okay. What have we got behind us? That's a large merchant as well, what looks like it? A Granville type freighter. Okay, that looks quite big. What do we got there? No. There. That's a tanker. That's a merchant. That's a merchant. That's a merchant. That's a nice tanker. That's a tanker. That's a tanker. That's a tanker. And their wash merchant ships. Okay, we're going to go for the tankers because that is our mission. We are here. Oh, for the love of God, would you select the ship on targeting, please? Um, we are here to sink tankers. So we are going to ignore the merchant ships. I know it's painful. I know. I know. But we are here, as I said, to get these tankers. And that is our primary goal. We're here to sink oil in the Caribbean New and that is that is it so Closing. the Bearing range is going to be medium range eight eight fifty um, speed I've already calculated at five knots angle of bow is currently sixty on this side. Lovely. Let's just do a recalculation because that took me forever and a day to do that. 62. 62. Perfect. Right. So, um, torpedo tube 1. Moving slow. Closing. Bearing, oh, bearing in mind, this ship's going to come around at a bloody awkward five. time, isn't it? Um, so... These T3 tankers, I'm going to guess they're probably going to be a torpedo two torpedo ship type two thing. Four. So we're going to fire that on slow impact. Let's get that flooded. Tube one. one, we'll get that one, one. lowish as well. Get that one flooded. That can go on slow. So if we can fire them on slow, hopefully we can get them ahead of this ship here. Now, how far is that ship going to be? That's going to be 300 meters. That's going to be really close. The one behind us is again 300 meters. 
Hmm. See, they're not quite... They're all wiggly, aren't they? It's because they, they've turned and they're all not in nice straight lines, which is making it slightly tricky for us. Um, anyway, torpedo tube... Torpedo tube, tube one. Tube two. Prepare to fire. Oh, for, right, fire one now. Shoot two. Fire. Right, is this, what's this one? This is... That's a tanker as well. Um, identify it. Thank you. It's a T2 tanker. New contact, merchant, right, we managed to get it just ahead of that. Away, so if we set bearing, this to 300, two, medium range. everything else should be roughly about right. Torpedo tube, watch for the ship behind. But torpedo tube uh, 3, flood and 4-4. Flood, blah, blah, you know what I'm trying to say. Wait for the explosions behind, hopefully. And tube 1, fire. Closing tube. Hit on the rear one. New contact, merchant. I'm not going to fire just in case we're too close away. for this one. Bearing 21, medium range. Impact. Impact. Good. So ship behind us. Tracking that is a tanker target. as well. Identify. Okay. Lock on. Oh, it keeps marked. losing uh, range 300 meters. Bearing is a. Uh, that's right. Um, Angler bow. Tube 4, flood. Tube 5, sorry, beg your pardon. Fire. Oh, that's. Oh, no, that's that's a bad one, sorry. That was a, uh, it's a bad angle and it's too close, I think. Oh, we got it. We got it though, as the water goes over it. Good. Okay, load and load. We've got a couple of torpedoes left. We've got a big tanker here, which we might well have a shot with four. It's like it's another T3 tanker. Uh, range is 850. All of a sudden, we're getting swamped with water over the periscope, which I can't see. So, angle about is. I didn't see what that was. Seventy-six. Okay, that's good. Right. So, go fast. Right there. Fire. And hopefully that will we got time to get those loaded. Right, let's have a look. How are those ships that we hit going? We've got debris everywhere. That was burning profusely. My god, why won't this periscope stay above the bloody water? Are we sinking or something? Yeah, there's death and destruction everywhere. Meanwhile, can we get a another hit on this ship here? I think it was right to go for the tankers. They're obviously going to be the bigger ships, the most oil, well, rich because well, of the oil reserves. Another hit on that tanker. Excellent. Oh, that's its first one. Right. Um, torpedoes are all spent, apart from the two that are being loaded in. There are guns. There are deck guns on these ships. So... Yeah, we've got to be a bit careful. Um, let's just let them reload the torpedoes and see how these ships get on with the damage and destruction we've caused. New contact, merchant, moving fast, closing, bearing, 9-3, medium range.
contact, merchant, moving slow, moving away, bearing, three, five, eight, medium range. Hi everyone, welcome back. Let's just take a look at what we've got then. So, that was a little bit action packed there, wasn't it? Difficult to keep up with what's going on. Uh, that, was the, that was the last time. So, torpedoes in the water. So we got the T3 tanker for 11,337 tons. Nice. We also got the Ranger medium tanker for 3,423 tons. We also hit the T2 tanker for 10,090 tons. And we also got a T3 tanker for 11,339 tons. So four ships, four tankers sunk then. That's a heck of a lot of oil. Needs to be cleaned up from the sea, I would imagine. But uh, warship tonnage is 20... Uh, 325 merchant tonnage is 101,025 taking our total tonnage for this patrol to 103,350 with 16 ships sunk now it's not all over yet um the the ships have kind of slowly creeping around the um they kind of dispersed and ran for their lives as you would expect some went headed north and there's obviously you can see there's a blue line there's a destroyer up there uh, but some of them have sort of sat down here, uh, hoping to be rescued, or I don't know what. Maybe they are running a little bit foul of the uh, the weather and the um, we have a task force inside. and the uh, and the, and, the, and the, the difficulty in visibility. But here we go. Well, we tracked them down, and they're sitting around here. So we got a. Oh, if I can get the periscope above the waterline. There we go. We've got a, a tanker sitting right in front of us. I've, I've obviously set ourselves up so we can have a nice shot. So, if we lock onto here. Okay, there we go then. So, it, it looks like it's... Well, it's one of those smaller tankers. But what is it? It is a Ranger Medium tanker. There we go. Uh, so, we're, we're pretty much 90 degrees onto her. We are a nice 750 meters. It should be a nice shot here. Speed is currently looks like zero. They've kind of stopped. Uh, angle of bow, yeah, 101. Oh, we got we got time, so let's just do this as there's no real pressure. It's 99. Oh, Oop, there we go. Perfect. Uh, so torpedo tube one. Let's flood that. So it's a medium pace. Impact is fine, and we got it about there, which is cool. That is bloody weather. We see, we've got large ships over there. We may we may turn away from those and try and use the rear torpedo on these ones, but I thought we'd concentrate and try and get the uh, all flooded. Fire. Right. Yes. So we got these ships here. We'll try and have a rearward shot with one of our um, or tube five with one of those, and see how we get on. But I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. Boom goes the uh, the ship. Still multiple explosions going on, and the red distress flare goes. Oh, bloody hell! Those poor boys. The entire rear of the ship's been blasted away. Blimey. That's our 17th ship sunk. The Ranger tanker for 3,430. Uh, we'll have a recap in a little bit. But what I'm going to do now is just have a little scout out. What we got there? Let's just have a see. That is a merchant, but let's have that identified. Let's have that. Let's have that. Let's have that identified. Thank you. It's a tramp steamer. That was harder work than it should have been. That is a large Target ship there. Marked. Okay. That one there. Thank you. What is it? Target. It is a large old steam freighter. Okay. What about that one? Tracking new target. That's the Granville type medium freighter. Okay. 
There's the shoreline. So they're really close to the shoreline. I think the, the bad weather is... Oh, that one may have even grounded. Tracking That's a time. merchant. A large old steamer. These two... The, yeah, these look like they're in trouble. Target. Yep, they definitely appear to be in trouble. Right, okay. We are... They not haven't run aground, but they've got like... Oh, all stop. And they've just kind of missed uh, hitting anything. Right. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to plot a course this way. Course. Returning to course. And Plotting head that way course. and we'll have a rearward Plotting shot. Uh, probably Prepare this one. Um, so yeah, I will... Oh, that's the larger one actually, isn't it? No, we'll go for one of these. It'll be easier shots. Um, we've only got one torpedo as it is. So, um, the ships do have deck guns, so we're not going to pop up and start blatting away with our gun. That would be suicide. Uh, but we are certainly going to... Uh, have one final shot at these boys before we need to go head back into the towards the Azores to get rearmed and refueled. I guess we have run out of torpedoes so soon, but um, it's all good. It's all good. They've all been well used mostly, so um, yeah, good times. Right, we'll move into position to get this last torpedo away. Okay, you can even hear the chimes of the channel markers, which is quite nice. Right, we've moved into position. Let's swing this gun round. The gun round. The periscope, sorry. Uh, there's those ships who are very near to beach, and it's got to be the weather. Now, this one's got a deck gun, front and aft. That one doesn't, and that one doesn't. So, we are going to target the one with the deck gun, because you never know. If things stay the way they are, we may be able to... The deck gun. Sorry, I'm talking all nonsense now. We're going to target the ones with the guns so we can potentially sink that with one torpedo and then we could, if things go our way, uh, use the deck gun on the others when the weather improves. So the large old steam freighter. Bearing 190. Let's bring up the map. Boop. Every time I close it, it, un it unzooms, which is really annoying. Uh, you can see we've set up a um, a rearward shot. We've got a warship coming in that way, and they've got a warship coming in that way. That's why I didn't turn around that way, because there's a warship getting close. So, But now I've gone this way, there's a warship coming that way. So you can't win, but um, at least uh, we're having to go right. Let's have a look at this then. So our range is 700 meters. Angle about... Is hundred and eleven, I think that says. Okay. Um John, you know, I'm gonna have to do that again. I can't read that, and it's we've got the time, so it, that's getting in the way. So, oh, please delete. There we go. Um, we'll do that here. Yeah. Hundred sixteen. A few degrees off. There we go. Right, speed. Actually, she is creeping forward slowly, but not to the extent that we need bother changing it from zero. I don't think. So, torpedo tube 5, she's quite shallow in the old hull, in the keel, sorry, she's fine. Flood tube 5, she's, ooh, she's quite light in the water, you can see the, the water line, so let's go on the surface. Fire. Right, let's see how this goes then. Well, we've hit her, but it doesn't seem to have done much damage. Um, she's still there, and yeah, no other chain reaction explosions. Nothing, nothing. We're out of torpedoes. That's it. Nothing more to fire. Only the deck gun. So, um, that's good. What I'm going to probably do is just hang around here for a little while and see if these 
succumb to their damage. See what happens with the destroyer. Let's just see how deep it is underneath us. It can't be very deep at all. It's a lot deeper than I was expecting, to be honest. I was, I was expecting about 10 to 20 meters. Um, okay, that's fine. So what I'm going to do is uh, continue to monitor these. Maybe um, hang around in the area and uh, and see if we can... Um... Oh, was that a lifeboat did I see coming off that boat? No, she's still there. Okay. Yes, we're going to just uh, hang around to see if that ship does finally succumb to her damage. Uh, if if so, brilliant. If not, ah well, we've had a good crack at it, haven't we? Hey? As it stands, we have sunk 17 ships. That last one obviously being the Ranger tank for 3,430. So, as it stands, warship tonnage, 2,325. Merchant tonnage, 104,455. Total tonnage, 106,780. Ship sunk, 17. That is pretty sweet. I think we're well on the way to uh, achieving our target of sinking the Caribbean oil. Brilliant. We're going to leave it there for this week. Thank you ever so much for joining us on this weekly patrol. As always, if you want to see some more, please hit that thumbs up button and I'll bring you some more uh, U77 in Silent Hunter 5 action your way. If you haven't already, consider hitting that, that subscribe button and tickling the bell next to it. You must hit the tickle the you must hit the tickle the bell. You must hit the bell if you want to get the videos into your video feed so you know when the next video is released and you don't miss anything. And I will see you bright and alert on next week's U77 Weekly Patrol. I'll see you then.